Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on a recent casting announcement for The Walking Dead Season 5 television series. This one's being reported from Deadline.com that Seth Gilliam will be playing a season regular role. good stuff and I want to say thank you to the four or five people that messaged me right away to let me know that this news was posted from Deadline as I didn't hear about it yesterday. So thank you very much to you guys who let me know and I thought I would do a video giving my thoughts on it and sort of let everyone else know because part of what I do with the channel with regards to The Walking Dead anyway is anytime I hear news about something I'll be letting you guys know. So as always the link is in the description. You guys can click it there if you want to see sort of the write up on the casting news and everything from dailydead.com. Pretty cool site to check out, uh, you know, daily news on The Walking Dead, that kind of stuff. But I'll let you guys know anyway. I'll post the video within 24 hours, 48 hours, depending pretty much every time there's new news for The Walking Dead. So with this one, basically what it says is uh, that, that he's been cast, Seth Gilliam. I think it's Gilliam. I don't think it's Gilliam. I, I, it's a G, but I think it's pronounced Gilliam. Um, and... He has been cast to play the role of, let's see, Michael Todd is his name, but they've already called out that in the past seasons they've used fake names for characters. So don't be surprised if that's a completely fake name. I'm going to go ahead and assume it is because, uh, I mean, Michael Todd, well, first of all, they're, it's, it's possible it's a real name, but it, to me personally, sounds like a fake name. Uh, just personally. I mean, Michael Todd... That, that's like it's 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 sort of like you know how people use the name John Doe or Steve or Steve something Smith or something like that. To me, it it sounds like a fake name. So I think they're right on the money here. I think they're correct that that is a fake name. And uh, the description says basically that uh, he has two sides to him. On one side, he displays a friendly, uh, puckish humor uh, ish side to him, and then on the other, he has a haunted side stemming from a dark secret. So um, initially, people, when they messaged me, they said, you know, they figured this would be Father Gabriel. Now, uh, we, did, we do kind of know, or it was hinted at, that Beth was taken by Father Gabriel uh, or, or some kind of pastor or something um, last season. Now, a lot of us, at least myself, personally thought it was someone from Terminus that took her. Is it possible that it's not and it's somebody from a different, uh, you know, completely different? It seems possible reasonable that it would be someone from Terminus based on the fact that uh, the whole place looked like a setup. Someone had been cleaning it. Someone had been taking care of it. And uh, it really did look like the strategy that they use at Terminus, which is to lure people in and then, you know, trap them, catch them, that kind of thing. So with what happened with Beth, it looked exactly the same thing, although it wasn't actually at Terminus. So is it possible that either this guy or this his character is going to be affiliated with Terminus? Definitely, I think it's possible. Is it also possible that he is just completely, you know, uh, separate from that completely? I mean, uh, Father Gabriel in the comic books. Now, now this guy does look quite a bit like uh, Father Gabriel, um, at least somewhat. I, it, it's not a perfect match by any means or anything, but when I compare picture and picture, all he really has to do is grow his hair out. And he, he's pretty close. Yeah, he's pretty close. He might be a little bit more stocky you know, than, than Father Gabriel is normally. But I think he could pass for a pastor. Don't you guys? Doesn't he look like here? I'll put a picture. Uh, poof, there you go. <laughs> to me, he looks like he could uh, he could pass for a pastor for sure. I think he would be good for that. So that's something that, uh, you know, we really haven't talked about too much is what if maybe uh, he took Beth against her will, but he didn't really hurt her. He was just trying to to help her get out of there, and she would she didn't want to leave, and he kind of forced her to, right? So he he took control of the situation and forced her to leave and leave Daryl there. Um, mm, hey, it's uh, that that's tight. That's definitely a possibility. Now we don't know for sure if he is playing Father Gabriel. Uh, we don't we don't know if that's how they're going to go, or if he's even going to be a character in the uh, television series. If you guys are interested to hear who Father Gabriel is. Uh, I'll put the link in the description to my video describing who he is and um, uh, what he's about from the comic book series, a character spotlight on him so you guys can find out all you want to know about him. Um, personally, he could be playing absolutely anybody, you know, anything. He could just be a member of Terminus or something. 
But uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say just based on the way he looks, based on his acting chops, because he was in The Wire before, he's been in a lot of different television series. Um, just to name a few, CSI Miami, he was on uh, Law & Order, um, Criminal Minds, Police State, Teen Wolf, uh, Homeland. So he's been on, he's been acting for a really long time. He's a really good actor. So I definitely think he'd be good as a, uh, as a Father Gabriel type character. So, uh, and based on the description too, how it, how it says he's got those two sides to him, but uh, has a uh, dark secret. That kind of makes that does that does fit with Father Gabriel's description because what he, what he did essentially you can watch the character spotlight if you want to hear more about this that I talked about but basically is he kind of locked himself down inside of his church right or inside of his uh, his his home at, at least um, and because in this one too we did get to see the embalming and stuff at the place that uh, Beth and Daryl were at so in the comic book series he locks himself down inside of his uh, church and doesn't let anybody else in even if they're getting ripped apart outside if there's walkers all around them if they're desperate he doesn't let anybody in and uh, that's kind of his his secret that he lets out is that he survived by just not you know letting anybody else into his safe haven so to speak so um that description sounds a lot like him to me personally so I think that's cool, and if that is correct, the most interesting thing to me is to see, does does he have Beth in some way? Is she okay with him, maybe? Or is he a part of Terminus? You know, is he maybe, you know, is Gareth the top dog there? Or is there, are there other guys there that are, you know, uh, important people in Terminus? Who's the real leader? You know, that all these kinds of questions. So... Um, it, it's cool news. It, it's cool casting news. I'm excited to see this guy. I've never seen any of the other, uh, I've never seen his acting in any of the other shows he's been in, but based on the amount of different shows he's been in and the fact he's been acting since 1991, I mean, you know, I would think he'd be playing an important role. I don't think you'd hire on somebody that has that much experience just for a walk-on role and then two episodes later they're dead or something. I think for something like that, We've had other actors from The Wire, too. Uh, Bob Stuckey's actor, he was from The Wire. There was, so that was that was a really big uh, big show. Some people have even told me it's like one of the best shows ever. I personally have never seen it, um, but people have suggested, man, you, you should go back and watch The Wire. But I just, I don't have time. I'd love to, and I uh, hear it's really, really good, and I'd like to see it. It was on HBO, I guess, but um, I don't have time. He was in Starship Troopers, too. I did like Starship Troopers. That's a fun one, so <laughs> it's a fun movie. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all my thoughts are on the casting announcement. I think it's a great, great casting announcement. I think it's exciting, and uh, I'm excited to see if he is, in fact, playing Father Gabriel or if it's something else entirely, and maybe we're all kind of misreading it. But that's what I personally, if I had to make a prediction in this situation, I think that's what it's for. I think that makes sense based on his acting chops or his experience, I'll say. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know who you think he's playing and, and what you think has happened with Beth do you think she's at Terminus somewhere, or do you think she's with, uh, you know, uh, this other character, maybe? Anyway, I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, as always, saying peace.